Hello everyone, welcome to 3 Minutes Engineering Concepts. The idea of this channel is to explain any engineering concept in 3 minutes. I will try to explain any fundamental to advanced concept in mechanical engineering and material sciences in 3 minutes time. If you like the idea, please like and subscribe our channel and our videos and also share it with any colleagues or students which may benefit from it. Thank you very much. In the last video, I tried to explain to you uh, what is meant by computational mechanics. And then I also mentioned that there are many different types of methods used in computational mechanics. And one of the commonly used methods is called finite element methods. Today, I'm going to focus on finite element methods. And I will try to give you a general overview of finite element methods and what it really means. Some of the terms which I'm going to explain now might go well over your head. But if you pay attention to or attend all the lectures or videos which will be uh, uploaded later on then it will all start to make sense so if you let's say if you are working as a finite element method FEM analyst or FEA based analyst in a company then as an analyst you basically you are seek you're trying to seek a solution of a problem using computers so for example if my if I am pulling my pulling a rope then I want to see how the rope behaves uh, under different types of pulling forces so this is I can do an experiment and see how it behaves or I can do a computational modeling using FEM so what you are doing in this case as an analyst is you basically create a virtual model in a computer and you create a geometry then you create a mesh and then you basically specify material properties and then based on the loading types for example if you have fixed your row from one end and you're pulling from the other side then these will be your boundary conditions loading conditions etc so you specify all those conditions and then you run your simulations on the computer so what computer does in the background we will come back to that later on and what you are looking for in that case is you're trying to look for displacements for example in the rope as a part of stress analysis space loading if you have some thermomechanical loading, let's say you are changing the temperatures during the loading, then you are looking for temperatures and heat fluxes in the thermal analysis. If your rope is under electricity, let's say it's a, it's a wire or a cable which is transferring electricity on a big pole from one pole to another pole, and you're doing the same thing from there, then you're looking for electric charge along with the stresses and displacements, etc. So you're looking for all those kind of things through that. And again, there are fundamental principles which you need to first understand before you before you implement them in finite element based methods and try to predict some kind of behavior okay, so once you have defined the geometry you have meshed them the models again i will explain the what meshing really means in future but you divide your geometry into small components as you see on the right hand side figures then you define the material properties boundary conditions loading conditions and then you press the submit button to the computer right and once you submit the button, what system computer does is it has already got the implementation of those fundamental equations and it creates a discrete simultaneous system of equations. And I will show you how you can do it in future future videos uh, for different structures. But for the time being, just assume that it can it can do it somehow as a black box. Once uh, these the, generally these simultaneous equations in FEM are based on energy principles such as Hamilton's principle or you try to minimize the potential energy of the system. So again, these are all conservative law of conservation of energy and work and etc. So again, we're going to discuss that. So based on that, what it does is it creates a set of discrete simultaneous equations and then it solves for unknown variables. So as a summary, I try to introduce you to the fundamental philosophy behind FEM where you try to define the geometry, discretize your model into different small elements define material properties, loading, etc., conditions, boundary conditions, and then you run the simulations. And in the background, computer really uses the fundamental mechanics based principles to create a discrete system of linear equations. And then it tries to solve those. So these are the fundamental steps which you normally follow in any FE analysis. If you would like to have more idea, then please have a look at the tutorials which I have uploaded for Abacus software for different problems. And they also discuss the same philosophy that what is really happening without going into the details of the alley, the equations and all these kind of stuff. So have a look at that to get a practical idea what FEM really means in those videos. In a subsequent video, what I'm going to discuss more is what happens once you press the submit button.
So what is really happening in the background in the computer when they when you're performing an FEM based analysis? So I hope I hope you like this video and I will see you next time in the next videos with some more interesting stuff. Thank you very much.